I am Anil Kumar sharing with you questions based on surface area of a cone. We are going to use these formulas. Lateral area of a cone is pi rs. Total surface area of a cone is pi rs plus pi r square. So let me explain you these two formulas. If you have a cone whose radius is r, and slant height is s. So this is the slant height. That's the radius at the bottom. If the radius is r and slant height is s, in that case, total surface area is lateral area, which is this circular area, pi r s, and the bottom area, which is pi r square, circle with radius of r. Now based on this, we have two questions for you. Question number one, calculate the surface area of the cone round to nearest meter in which slant height is 8 meters and radius is 3. So straight application of the formula. The second one, we are given the height, that is to say, we are given the height. So this is the height of eight, 9 meters and diameter of 6 meters, right? Okay. Question number 2 is, curved surface of a cone is called lateral area. A sector of a circle is a part of the circle bounded by two radii and an arc on of the circumference. A cone is formed from a circle with 90 degree sector removed. Find the lateral area of this cone. Let's try to understand this question. Basically, we have a circle and we are removing a part of it, 90 degrees sector. That means that much, which is 90 degrees, has been cut away, right? So if you remove that portion, if you remove this portion and fold it, then it could be formed as a cone. So in this case, we have radius of r. You need to find lateral area of this particular cone. So these are two questions for you. You can pause the video, answer these questions, and then look into my suggestions. Here is my solution. So the very first one is to calculate the surface area. We are given two cases. The first one here is slant height s is 8 meters and the radius r is 3 meters surface area is area of the bottom which is pi r square plus the lateral area pi r s since all the values are given this is simple pi times radius of 3 square plus pi times r of 3 and s of 8. We can actually multiply and get the answer. I am using 3.14 as value of pi times 9 plus 3.14 times 24 equals to 103.62 meter square which could be rounded to let's say 100 and nearest meter, right? So 104 meters square. Okay, so area will be meter square, right? So that is how you could get the first part. Now in the second part, we are actually given a cone with height of 9 meters, right? So the height is given to us as 9 meters and a diameter of 6 and the diameter of 6 meters. So in this particular case, radius is half of the diameter, which is 3 meters. You need to find the slant height. So slant height will be what? Slant height S will be equal to square root of 9 square plus 3 square. Since 3 is the radius, right? So this radius is 3. So let's find this answer. Square root of 9 square 
plus 3 square is equal to 9.4868 okay so that is s now we can apply the formula and find the surface area so surface area let me use this value of s which is there pi r s plus pi r square so pi is 3.14 radius is 3 s is let's say 9.49 plus pi is 3.14 times 3 square okay so i'm using the value of s which is there my calculator i'll multiply that by 3 times 3.14 getting the first term and we'll add to this pi r square which is 3.14 times 3 square and this is equal to 117.6 meter square right now you can round this to nearest meter square which is 118 meter square correct so at times you may have to find the slant height as we did in this particular case using pythagorean theorem correct so i hope the steps are absolutely clear now let's take up question number two, which says curved surface of a cone is called lateral area, right? A sector of a circle is part of the circle bounded by two radii and an arc of the circumference. Let me explain you this part, which is kind of like this. Let's say this is the circle and we have two radii now let me read further a cone is formed from a circle with 90 degrees sector removed so let me remove 90 degrees so that is the sector so this portion here is called the sector so this sector has got these two radii part right and the angle is given to us as 90 so this angle is 270 degrees correct this is 90 degrees the question is to find the lateral area of this cone now clearly lateral area of the cone is same as the surface area of this particular circle which remains right after removing 90 percent right so so we can say lateral area of cone will be how much in the ratio of these angles correct will be 270 degrees over 90 degrees so that becomes the ratio of the area of circle which is pi r square does it make sense so that is what it is going to be right so in general it is ratio of these two angles so i mean sorry 270 over 360 degrees full circle so it is three-fourth of the whole circle, right? 270 over 360. From the full circle, we took away 90. We are remaining with 270. So it is three-fourth of the area of the whole circle. Okay? So that is going to be the surface area of cone in this particular case. Okay? So that is how we could answer this question. I hope that is clear. So we are only talking about lateral area. We are not talking about the, uh, so when you fold, it will be kind of like this. Where this radius will become the slant height of the cone, right? We are not talking about the bottom area, which is a circle, just the lateral area, that means the curved surface area. So I hope that part is very clear. So this is basic concept question and based on this we are going to take few more practice test questions. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.